Okay, so let's go do the rock, paper, scissors tutorial from the Make Code website. I'm going to scroll down to where it says games and click on rock, paper, scissors and start tutorial. Okay, so it's going to build us a rock, paper, scissors game that you can play with your friends. It says first we need on shake. So I guess I don't need on start and I don't need forever. I'm going to go to input and get on shake. Next, add hand variable and place set hand block in the shake event. Okay, so from variables I need to type in hand. And then I need to set hand to. All right, next. Add a pick random block to pick a random number from one to three and store it in the variable named hand. So from math, I pick a random, pick random, it says zero to 10. I need it to go from one to three. Okay, next. Place an if block under the pick random and check whether the hand is equal to one. Add a show LEDs block that shows a picture of a piece of paper. The number one will mean paper. Okay, so I go into if, I'm going to pull out if true, and then I need to say if hand equals one. So if I click on here, it's going to show me what that looks like. True, and then zero equals zero, and then hand, and then one. Okay, so I go over to logic, zero equals zero, go to variables, get hand, put it in the first zero. Don't let go until there's yellow surrounding where you want your um, block to be. And then it says go into basic, get a show LEDs, and I need to make a piece of paper. All right, my paper is going to look like this. That is paper. All right, next, click on shake and see if you get a, a picture of paper. Okay, I'm clicking shake, nothing, nothing, nothing. There it is. Okay, so I did eventually get paper. All right, click the plus button to add an else section. Did that. Add a show LEDs inside the else and make a picture of scissors. Okay, so show LEDs and I'm making a picture of scissors. Oh, I don't remember what it looks like. We'll go with that. All right, next. Click the plus button again to add an else if section. Now add a conditional block for if hand equals two to the condition else if. Since hand can only be one, two, or three, your code is covering all possible cases. All right, so I click the button. I have an else if. So now I'm going to say zero equals zero goes right there. Else if the hand equals two. So if it equals one, it's paper. If it equals two, it's going to be something. And if it's three, because it's not one or two, it's the scissors. Get one more show LEDs and put it in else if and make a picture of a rock. Okay, so put this down here. My rock is going to look like this. That looks rockish, don't you think? Yeah, that's my rock. Okay. Click on the shake button and check to see that each image is showing up. All right, I'm over here. There's my rock. There's paper. There's scissors. Paper. Scissors. Paper. Can I get rock again? No, it doesn't like rock. There's my rock. Okay, it works. So now I'm going to click finish. And to submit it to Canvas, I'm going to click up here where it says share. Rock, paper, scissors, Bradley. Click on publish the project. Then I'm going to copy this code and paste it into Canvas. All right, that's how you make rock, paper, scissors. And here is me playing it. Oops, shake not that. All right, paper, rock. Paper, rock, paper, scissors. All right, that's it. Have a great day.